The United States Latin American Detention Program was created in 1941 to capture Nazi sympathizers, but ended up netting numerous individuals who presented little or no national security risk. One of these was the wealthy businessman at the heart of the Nautebaum case. Friedrich Nautebaum was born in Hamburg, Germany, in 1881. Two of his many brothers lived in Guatemala, where they operated Nautebaum Hermanos, a firm engaged in banking, finance, and coffee plantations. Nautebaum joined them in 1905 and spent the next three decades working and living in Guatemala. In 1937, he became head of the family firm. Nautebaum was ineligible for Guatemalan citizenship because he'd been born in Germany. In 1939, Nautebaum traveled to Liechtenstein and applied to become a naturalized citizen. Nautebaum requested a waiver of Liechtenstein's three-year residency requirement and paid the necessary fees and taxes. Nautebaum's application met with approval. Twelve days after he'd submitted his application, he took the Liechtenstein Oath of Allegiance. Under Liechtenstein law, this meant he relinquished his German citizenship. Nautebaum then returned to Guatemala. He informed Guatemala of his change in citizenship. The United States and Guatemala both entered World War II in 1941. President Roosevelt declared all German citizens to be enemy aliens. In 1943, Guatemala arrested Nautebaum as a German citizen. Nautebaum was interned in the U.S. for over two years. The U.S. and Guatemala seized a large amount of Nautebaum's property and his company's assets. When Nautebaum was released in 1946, Guatemala refused to let him return. Nautebaum moved to Liechtenstein. In 1951, Liechtenstein sued Guatemala before the International Court of Justice, arguing that Guatemala had wrongfully refused to recognize its grant of citizenship. Guatemala countered that it didn't have to recognize Nautebaum's Liechtenstein naturalization and that he remained a German citizen under international law. In 